All right. Good morning and welcome to the public hearing for delivery of alcoholic beverages direct to consumer. My name is Nicole Blasse and I am the rules coordinator for the Oregon Liquor and Cannabis Commission. Today is May 15th, 2024 at approximately 10.03 a.m. and this public hearing is being held virtually. The purpose of a public hearing is to give interested persons a reasonable opportunity to submit data and or personal comments prior to the adoption of permanent rulemaking. This morning's hearing is being held in accordance with Chapter 183 of the Oregon Revised Statutes, otherwise known as the Administrative Procedures Act, Division 1 of Chapter 845 of the Commission's Administrative Rules, and Division 1 of Chapter 137 of the Oregon Administrative Rules, otherwise known as the Model Rules of Administrative Procedure. Please be advised that today's hearing is being recorded. During this morning's hearing, I will accept comments from anyone who wishes to submit them. If you are interested in providing testimony this morning but have not yet signed up, please email us at olcc.rulemaking at oregon.gov or you may interrupt um, and raise your hand on Teams or send us a message on the Teams chat. <clears throat> if you wish to submit written comments after today's hearing, you may do so provided that all submissions are received by 12 p.m. on May 31st, 2024. You may submit written comments by emailing olcc.rulemaking at oregon.gov. In accordance with OAR 137-001-0040, all public comments received on this matter, whether in the form of written document or oral testimony, will become a part of the permanent rulemaking record. Here is a summary of the proposed rules. During the 2023 legislative session, House Bill 3308 was passed by the legislature and required changes in the Oregon Liquor and Cannabis Commission's administrative rules regarding home delivery of alcoholic beverages. Specifically, these rules are needed to permanently enact the temporary rules created to implement the permitting and training of third-party delivery facilitators. In order to fulfill the need to adopt rules implementing this legislation while seeking additional time for stakeholder outreach and industry input, Temporary rules were filed on December 18th, 2023 by the OLCC. The temporary rules became effective January 2nd, 2024 and are effective th through June 28th of 2024. The creation of these permanent rules involved additional industry, public health, public safety and advocacy stakeholder outreach and input in addition to the outreach conducted to implement the temporary rules. These permanent rules will enforce the requirement for training of alcohol delivery drivers and safe third party delivery of alcohol in Oregon. At this time, I have not received any emails for anyone who wishes to provide testimony. Is there anybody on the call this, today that would like to provide testimony for the permanent rulemaking record? All right, we are going to keep the hearing open um, until we receive note that someone would like to provide testimony until about 10, 15, 10, 20. Um, I'm going to ahead and uh, put myself on mute. And if anybody would like to contribute or provide testimony today, please raise your hand in Teams um, or shoot us an email at olcc.rulemaking at oregon.gov. And I will put that in the chat as well. Um, so please let us know if you would like to provide testimony. We'll keep the hearing open until about 10, 15 or so. Um, and we will conclude if we don't have anybody who wishes to provide testimony. Thank you.
Once again, if you are just joining us, this is the OLCC public hearing for delivery of alcoholic beverages direct to consumer. Um, at this time, we do not have anybody signed up to provide testimony, but if you're just joining us, um, please interject or raise your hand on Teams um, if you would like to provide testimony today. Thank you. We're going to keep the hearing open for another five or 10 minutes or so. And if we don't have any requests, we will conclude the hearing. Um, I'm going to put myself on mute. Thank you.
All right, the time is now 1015 AM. And at this time, there have been no requests to submit comment at today's hearing. So we are going to conclude. Please remember that written comments must be received on May 31st, no later than 12 PM to be considered during the rulemaking process. Thank you for your interest and participation and have a great rest of your day.